Hi, this is Ellen Como from Heart Park. And today we're gonna to be working on your back, your biceps, your stomach, and I'm gonna add cardio in there for you to keep your heart rate up. What you're gonna need is one heavy weight and two medium weights. So if you need them, go get them now. Now, how we're gonna work out this, how we're gonna work out today is you're going to be doing your resistance training for one minute with your weight. I'll walk you right through that. Then we're gonna do cardio for 40 seconds and you're gonna have 20 seconds to rest. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's start warming up. Okay, I just want you opening up your back and warming up. There's two things that we're warming up in a warm up of a workout. One of them is your body, obviously. You wanna just kinda of move around and warm up. The other one is your mind, leaving everything outside the gym or outside the workout out of your mind and making this 20 minutes be all about you. We don't do that nearly enough. So just kind of lift your legs. And the first thing we're gonna get ready for is your overhead press. Grab your two medium weights and here we go. Now in an overhead military press, a lot of people grab onto the weights really tight. You don't wanna do that. You wanna open up your fingers and come from underneath that weight. This, inner, this adds muscle from your back so it's not just all shoulder now if you're in this for a shoulder workout then go ahead and grab that weight we're going to do this for one minute we are not speeding through this make sure your form is on point even with cardio we're not going to rush through things today oh, how are you feeling <laughs> just getting warmed up here you've got about 15 seconds Okay, now you've got a 20 second rest. The next thing we're gonna do is a jump jack punch. So you're gonna do a jumping jack with a punch. I'll walk you right through it. It's gonna be for 40 seconds and a 20 second rest. Make sure you're using your muscles and not flowing around. Here we go. Punch, punch, punch. That's all we're doing, very easy. Just follow along. The toe comes forward of the arm you're punching. Be careful with your punches. You don't wanna throw a shoulder out and you think I'm kidding. I see it happen all the time. Keep it very controlled. All right, we get to rest, 20 seconds. And then, you're gonna go into a plank row. So you're gonna to wanna to get your heavy weight ready to go here. Catch your breath. <laughs> this is your time to just take it in and breathe and get ready for the next move. You're gonna take your medium weight, put it right here on your mat. Your hands are gonna be on either side of it. You're gonna come out into a plank and you're gonna lift that weight into a row. If you can't do this up on your knees, you can do it right here. Or if you still are having trouble, you can stand up and you can actually do it standing. So we have all different ways, all different modifications for you. There we go, gosh, it seemed like that was a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, so now in 10 seconds, you're gonna go into jumping jacks for 40 seconds. In three, two, and here we go. Staying light on your feet. I'm not flailing my arms around. 
I'm keeping everything controlled. Using my muscles and not using momentum. Here we go. 20 second rest. Ah, breathe. Exhale. Now, the next move. You're going to be doing a reverse fly. This is for your posture. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the front and the side. We have 20 seconds before we actually start the move. Grab your medium weights. They're down here, right below, right above your kneecaps and you're gonna come out. I like to describe it like a bird fly. So here it is from the front. Here we go, one minute. And I'm gonna show you it from the side and the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Here we go. Best move for your posture. With all the computers, cell phones, driving, we don't use the muscles rhomboids enough. This mood, get, mood, this mood gets right in there, so. <sighs> I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> 20 seconds. Five seconds. Great job, 20 seconds to just catch your breath. Now we're gonna go into a lateral jump. So you wanna make sure you have plenty of room on either side to go back and forth. And here we go. It's a very simple move. Very controlled. Again, I'm not flailing back and forth. I am actually using every muscle, even my arms, keeping them controlled, keeping them close to my body. This prevents injuries. Smiling because I knew it was almost over. Okay, 20 seconds to rest. You're gonna need your medium weights coming up and we're gonna go into a forward bicep curl. So for right now, catch your breath. If you need water, which you should always have with you, go ahead and have some water. We have 15 seconds before we start our bicep curls. You're gonna grab your weights. When you're doing a bicep curl, don't go all the way up and all the way down. Find your range of motion. This is mine. You can see my bicep where it stops working on the bottom and stops working on the top. Everybody's bicep is a different length. And just because you're tall doesn't mean you have a longer bicep. It's different for everyone. Pitching my breath here <laughs> between the cardio. Sometimes the resistance training is kind of your moment to just bring everything down. It's my sanctuary sometimes. <laughs> Excellent job. Now go ahead, put your weights down. We are going to go into ah, the jumping jack squat. So I will show you what that looks like in four seconds. We're gonna do this for 40 seconds. And it's two jacks, squat up. Two jacks, squat up. 
I'm not rushing through this, not because I'm lazy. I want every move to matter. My heart rate is up. I'm sure yours is too. I don't know what that was. That was some funky squat there. Oh, okay, step back. This is time for you to catch a breath. We're gonna go to outside bicep curls next. So you're gonna need your medium weights coming up. But right now, breathe. Get water, do what you need to do. And then we're gonna grab our two medium weights. An outside bicep curl. Your fist is in alignment with your shoulder. If my two fists were coming together, that would not be the right path of motion. We got a little extra time in there. <laughs> we're not, we need more biceps, don't we? I love that we're doing this workout at Hart Park. William S. Hart was a cowboy in his day. He was like the cowboy of movie and TV. And he donated this park to the city as long as they kept animals here. So any animal lover is a friend of mine. And what a beautiful park this is. Stay right with me. Stay in your range of motion. Keep your core strong. Don't all of a sudden just kind of let your stomach out. Everything should be engaged right now. Okay. You have a few seconds to rest. And then the mountain climbers. And I don't know why lately I have this like mental thing with mountain climbers. So I'm gonna get through it right now with you and get to that 40 seconds. I've never had a problem with them before, but for some reason, hands right into your shoulder and just run. You don't have to go fast. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that's over. Okay, go ahead, catch your breath. And we're gonna go into hammer curls next. So you're gonna need your medium weights. Starting to sweat, which is perfect. That's what we want out of a workout. Okay, three seconds. And then you get another 15 seconds to get some water. <laughs> kind of fooled you there. Okay, here we go, hammer curls. Now, with a hammer curl, the downward motion is the most important part. So you're going, I like to say, you like it's intense on the way up and controlled all the way down. So that's how you're gonna get the most out of a hammer curl. I see a lot of people in bicep curls forgetting about the downward motion, and that's where you're gonna get the most out of your workout. So, I'm gonna show you from the side. And at the end, you see, I finished it on the bottom and my triceps do start to help in the movement. It's not gonna help with the lifting, but you just kinda of get that little bonus on the bottom where your tricep engages. Okay, here we go. Scissor jacks. <laughs> these are just so much fun. It's funny when I teach these to a lot of my clients. For some reason, they have a lot of trouble getting the coordination. So let's see how you do today. All it is is back and forth. And then you can use your arms as soon as you're ready. 
This is so hard. I hope at home you're getting it really easily. If you're not, don't be discouraged, keep trying. One day you'll do it once and you'll do it right and then you'll have it from here on out. So just keep going. It's just more important to keep moving. step back out here I have a little sweat underneath the, my lip that's what it's all about when you're working out it's not about being beautiful <laughs> it's not about being perfect it's about working hard to your very best we are gonna lay down yay lay down and we're gonna do a mermaid crunch how a mermaid crunch looks is you're gonna take both your legs and you're crossing them there's your mermaid tail and you're gonna lift towards your tail so here we go. Starting in one second, there we go. Now make sure if you right now are at home saying, ow, my neck hurts, it's because you are not using your stomach. You need to use your stomach on these. I am not feeling my neck at all. Now my stomach's gonna feel this, <laughs> but my neck is supported by the one hand and my stomach is engage to make this move happen as my stomach contracts i can reach farther Where's that bingo? There it is. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna go into starfish. Right after the mermaid, it makes sense, doesn't it? One of my favorite things are mermaids. Okay, starfish. You're gonna come up into a starfish and into a squat. I'll show you what that looks like. Here we go, 40 seconds. Up, squat, up, squat, up, squat. It's like how tall can you jump? If you can't jump, go up on your toes into the deeper squat. So that's always an option. By the end of this 40 seconds, you should be not be able to jump that high off the floor and your legs should be burning. And that's perfect. Yes, I was cheating. I was looking at my timer. I was getting tired. So now we're going into my second favorite thing and that's a sloth. How we're gonna do this is a plank. It's called a sloth plank. But for right now, catch your breath. If you're dizzy, make sure you're keeping your head above your shoulders. We have another 15 seconds, which I'm glad that we have, especially when we go from a lying down, standing up, and then down again. You need that time to regulate your breathing. Okay, for a sloth, 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 let's try it again. For a sloth plank, your hands are in a plank position and you reach in slow time, just like a sloth. You can even touch the ground and drag it to you and it will make it a little bit harder if you want it harder. If you need it easier, you can come down on your knees or you can just stay in a plank so it's entirely up to you. It's your workout. Well, guess what? You made it. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you, 
You can find more workouts on ellencomo.com or ellencomo TV on YouTube. I want to thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.